Hey guys, uh, long time no see. It has been a while. I think the last time I uploaded a video, it was around November, I think. So I thought I'd hop on here and just do a video because I wanted to. Um, and talk about how life has gone uh, for the past few months that I've been gone. So, first and foremost, I have a service dog in training to be my mobility assistance dog. He's doing great. He's currently 10 months old. Not nine. Nine. Almost 10. On the 20th, he will be 10 months old. And he's doing a great job. But in this process, I have learned a lot of really important life lessons um, that I honestly didn't expect to learn, um, like the importance of patience and developing routine and responsibility that I never really had. Like, you don't realize, like, the little things that, that add up. And thankfully, I have, I'm fortunate enough to get a lot of, of help um, from my parents uh, when it comes to the things that I can't physically do, like taking him out for walks and whatnot. But I think the most important thing that he has taught me is that uh, I need to grow a backbone and stand up for myself. Well, I really stand up by myself. You know. <laughs> that's, that's a disabled joke. Don't worry about it. But, um, yeah, the most important thing that I think he has taught me is that I need to stop being a doormat and let people walk all over me. And you're probably like, wow, that's a, that's a weird life lesson for a dog to teach you, but hear me out here. Um, I get a lot of looks in public. I always have had a lot of looks in public, like, cause I don't know, it's like every time I go outside, I guess nobody's seen a wheelchair before, so that usually gets attention. But now I bring a dog with me a lot of the places that I go and people think that's weird. And they like to come up to me and go, oh, what a cute puppy. Uh, and pet him, even though he's in his vest. And uh, it's a service dog in training, do not pet. And I have to say, please don't pet him. He's working. Or we're working on a training session right now. Please don't pet him. Don't look at him. Don't interact with him. Just... Pretend like he isn't here. And you'd be surprised at the entitlement that people have where I'll say those things to them very, very politely and say, oh, please don't touch him. Don't pet him. We're working right now. We're doing a training session. Please don't bother him. They'll go, oh, no, no, no. I love dogs. It's fine. Um, I'm very glad that people love dogs and want to pet my dog, uh, but he has a job to do, and his focus is on me and doing his job because I need him to work for me. He does mobility. Well, he's going. He's going to do mobility. He's still got some growing up to do, but 
um, right now he can pull me in my chair a little bit, um, press the handicap button, do that sort of stuff. Eventually, he's going to learn to open doors for me. Eventually. That's, that's going to be great. But yeah, I never thought that I would encounter a lot of the problems that I do. Like, people coming up to me and either wanting to A, pet my dog, or B, accusing me of faking my service dog in training, which I think is hilarious because my trainer or my parents are right there with me whenever he is misbehaving to provide corrections when I cannot. And I'm just blown away that people just have no problem coming up to me and saying, that's not how a service dog should act, or blah, 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 blah. Because we're working on him pulling in my chair. Because people think that service dogs can't pull, I guess. Uh, I didn't know that that, apparently people didn't know that that could be a task to be taught. Or occasionally, he, since he's still in training, and he's still going to be in training until he's at least two, uh, occasionally we'll be in a store, a pet-friendly store, mind you, because he's not allowed public access rights to non- pet friendly areas yet uh and just will bark occasionally if he gets excited and will say no quiet and people will be like um service dogs aren't supposed to bark or um service dogs aren't supposed to pull on the leash or, wow, isn't he supposed to listen to you the first time? These are things that I get in public with my dog that I never, ever thought I would have to deal with. Um, at this point, I much prefer the people that come up to me and go, oh, like, what's he for? And I'll, I won't give them my whole medical history, but I'll be like, oh, he, you know, he's gonna help me with mobility and stuff when he gets bigger. I'm gonna get him a balanced support harness, so if I do need to stand uh, for brief periods, I can do that without falling over and my face hitting the floor. Uh, because I do have limited mobility. That's another fun fact that people are shocked to learn that sometimes people in wheelchairs have limited mobility. We're not, we're not all paraplegic people, okay? So. Yeah, I, I didn't expect this to turn into a tangent. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just, it baffles me that people can be so entitled or presume to know my business or presume that I'm faking because I'm doing a public training session with my dog in a pet-friendly store. And this hasn't been an isolated one-time incident. It has happened multiple times. And I'm just... I 
honestly, like, I don't know how to respond to it. And it, and it hurts me that people just assume things for knowing me for the course of 30 seconds. It sucks. Um, but yeah, uh, so hopefully you're going to get a stronger, a little bit tougher Brit in the next year or so, because I've grown a backbone and I am incredibly proud of the progress that I've made. So hopefully I'll be scheduled, I'll be uh, not scheduled, I'll be, I'll upload more regularly, is what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, I guess that's kind of all I wanted to say. So, I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.